Just recently, after five months of waiting, the cause of death of Tawny Katayan has been announced. The family of the iconic music video and film actress can now rest assured knowing that the Bachelor Party star died peacefully and the death wasn't self-inflicted. Although the actress had ups and downs in her life, she was in a relatively good place when she died. Join Faxverse as Tawny Katayan's cause of death is finally revealed five months too late. During the 1980s, Tawny Katayan was one of the most popular video actresses out there, thanks to her appearances in numerous music videos for the band Whitesnake. The actress's career as a music video vixen had long since come to an end before her recent death, though she was still doing well for herself and her daughters. After her death was announced, family and fans alike waited anxiously to hear what had been the cause. This included Tawny's younger brother Jordan, who was one of her closest family members, but no cause of death was announced. Days turned to weeks and weeks to months. Still, no word was heard from the authorities about what Tawny's cause of death had been. Finally, five months after the fact, it was revealed the beloved actress had died peacefully from heart problems. Now her family and fans are able to get some closure knowing there was no foul play involved in her death, and she didn't experience too much pain as she passed. The cause of her death has been revealed to be dilated cardiomyopathy, which is a type of heart disease not uncommon amongst the population. The actress had passed away May 7, 2021 at age 59. After her death, her two daughters, Winter and Rain, announced her passing on Instagram. The message included a heartfelt thanks to their mother's fans. Tawny shared the two daughters with ex-husband and retired professional baseball player Chuck Finley, whom she'd married in 1997 and divorced in 2002. Tawny was a TV and film actress, having had roles in things like 1984's Tom Hanks comedy Bachelor Party and an early 1991 episode of Seinfeld. But it's hard to deny that Tawny's true success was on the small screen, where she could be seen in numerous heavy metal music videos for bands like Whitesnake and Rat. After her time as a vixen and fledgling film star came to an end, Tawny continued to perform in various capacities until her death. She co-hosted America's Funniest People alongside Full House's Dave Coulier during the early 90s and appeared on reality TV series such as Celebrity Rehab with Dr. Drew and The Surreal Life in the New Millennium. Her appearance on the prior show took advantage of her then-recent run-ins with the law regarding substance abuse though the actress had apparently long since given up such habits by the time of her death. Family and fans alike are comforted by the news that Tawny died peacefully of natural causes, with one of the most relieved figures being her younger brother Jordan. Jordan had been anxiously awaiting the announcement of his older sister's cause of death for the past five months and breathed a sigh of relief knowing she had passed in one of the more peaceful ways she possibly could have. Oddly, Jordan had predicted soon after his sister's death was announced that she had died of a broken heart due to the recent death of their father. As it turns out, Jordan's prediction wasn't far off. Jordan expressed his sister had been devastated, seemingly beyond repair, after their father passed, and he wasn't too surprised when she followed suit. Though he thinks Tawny must have had some natural weakness in her heart that allowed the death to occur, he truly believes his older sister would have lived at least a little longer if it wasn't for the loss of their father. Jordan has also shared he is going to be taking special care this holiday season to make sure his late sister's two daughters receive some special love and attention. Their mother was apparently a big celebrator of the holidays, so not having her around is going to be even harder for them come Christmas time. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First for more. Soon after Tawny Katayan's death, her family and friends held a celebration to honor her life. The celebration included speeches from both of the actress's daughters as well as Jordan's teenage son performing a rendition of Let It Be by the Beatles. Although her family and friends were certainly sad to see Tawny go, they were proud of everything she had accomplished. Tawny was born in San Diego, California on August 5, 1961. At a young age, she was diagnosed with dyslexia. This severely affected her motivation and ability to receive an education, and inevitably resulted in the young girl dropping out of school completely during her high school years. Thankfully, the young woman had her good looks to get her by. She began acting and modeling at a young age, though she didn't hit it big until she began appearing in music videos. She debuted in Whitesnake's Here I Go Again in 1982 and was subsequently rocketed into superstardom as one of the preeminent sex symbols of the decade. She followed this up with roles in films. The year after Whitesnake's music video for Here I Go Again, Tawny appeared in a TV movie named Malibu. However, it was her appearance in 1984's Bachelor Party that has arguably gone down as the actress's most notable role, 
The film was an early comedy for Tom Hanks, and has since attained a cult following for both its star's performance and its crude humor. The peak of Tawny's career success was in the 80s, and the 90s saw her taking on much more modest gigs. From 1992 to 94, she co-hosted America's Funniest People with Full House's Dave Coulier. She also had a small part on the early 90s sitcom The New WKRP in Cincinnati, performing in that show for 19 episodes. She also appeared in Hercules, in addition to her aforementioned one-time appearance in a 1991 episode of Seinfeld. Although Tawny's film and television career was nothing to balk at, she never found success in either medium, comparable to the success she found in music videos. However, she wasn't able to pass as a music video vixen quite as easily into the new millennium. Tawny kept her star afloat into the 2000s, appearing in reality TV series like The Surreal Life and Celebrity Rehab with Dr. Drew. She came on to the former series during the sixth season. The producers felt Tawny would boost the show's dwindling ratings, and Tawny felt as if appearing in the show might help bring her back into the spotlight. Sadly, neither really ended up happening. Tawny's time on Celebrity Rehab with Dr. Drew came in 2008, after the actress had been publicly exposed as having a drug problem. Tawny went on to complete televised treatment on the program, though subsequently relapsed in 2009. Still, it seems as if Tawny had overcome these substance abuse issues by the time of her death. When it came to her personal life, she had other issues besides drug addiction. However, she was apparently in a place of peace when she died. She'd been married twice over the course of her life. The first was to White Snake's lead singer, David Coverdale. Oddly, the two didn't get married until long after Tawny debuted in their music video. They were married in 1989, and that lasted two years. Tawny married her second husband in 1997. He was retired professional baseball player Chuck Finley. That marriage yielded two girls and lasted longer than her first one. But it came to a sour end when Tawny was arrested for beating her husband with her shoes. That incident occurred in 2002, just before their divorce. They had gotten into an argument, which resulted in Tawny pulling off her high-heeled shoes and proceeding to beat her spouse with them. As it turns out, this was something Tawny did regularly when arguments got heated, and this time Chuck had experienced enough of the abuse. He ended up dropping the charges after Tawny underwent a year of spousal battery counseling, but the damage had already been done to their relationship. Chuck filed for divorce three days after the occurrence, and Tawny never remarried. But she always maintained a very close relationship with her two daughters. Now it's time to hear from you. Comment down below to share what your favorite music video featuring Tawny is. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.